for this week's recipe, you're in for a treat. It's chicken broccoli pie. Remember, before starting any cooking project, put your hair up, wash your hands, and make sure that your surfaces are clean. Read through that recipe twice, then set out all of your tools and ingredients. For this recipe, you're going to also need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees before you begin. Prepare a nine inch pie plate by spraying it with cooking spray. If you are using canned chicken, go ahead and open that can and drain all the juices. But this recipe is also a great way to use leftover chicken from another meal. If that's what you're using, chop that chicken up into small pieces. Then spread the chicken evenly into the bottom of your pie plate. The next layer of this recipe is chopped frozen broccoli. You want to make sure first of all that your broccoli is cut into really small pieces. Dump it into a mesh strainer and rinse it really well under cold water. Then layer it on top of the chicken. Finish with your shredded cheddar cheese, or you can use a mixture of whatever cheeses you like the best. Now it's time to make our egg mixture. Drop those eggs into a blender, or if you don't have a blender, you can use a large mixing bowl. Be sure to clean up any spilled egg. Add your milk, your bisquick, and seasonings. Now this recipe calls for an eighth of a teaspoon. How do you get an eighth? Just take your quarter teaspoon and estimate half of it. Now blend this together till it's smooth and well mixed. We're just gonna pour that over the top of the pie. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. While your pie is baking, make the topping. Be another half cup of Bisquick, some chopped nuts, whichever kind you have on hand, grated Parmesan cheese, and some more seasonings. Mix it all together really well. And now, to get it to have a nice crumbly texture and hold it together, we're going to need a little butter. You need cold butter, two tablespoons. I start by chopping mine up into small pieces at first. That way it's easier to incorporate it into the entire recipe. Drop that in and just use your fingers to press the butter into the flour and nut mixture till you have a crumbly texture, kind of like wet sand. Now, you can also use this other really cool tool called a pastry blender to blend this in. It cuts fat into flour. Go ahead and set that mixture aside, and it's time to clean up. is organizing my kitchen space. As you see, I have a lot of dirty dishes and I don't want to just start washing them willy-nilly. You need to be organized in order to be efficient. So I am rinsing out my sink, making sure that it's clean. The sink is actually one of the dirtiest places in your kitchen. And then I'm pre-rinsing and stacking my dishes to the left. Now that water that you see in that little bowl, that is the water that I used to wash the blender with. I just dumped it out and I am now dipping my rag into that soapy water and washing my dishes. And I'm gonna set them aside over into the other sink and rinse them when they're all done being washed. Now, as I rinse my dishes really quickly, Stack them in the drying rack so that they can get air in between them. Notice I am not stacking them right on top of each other. I'm trying to put small things in first and I'll put the larger things on top. I'm moving a 
as quickly as I can so I don't waste water and you turn it off in between when you're not using it. Notice that knife I set to the side. I never set it down in my sink. That's dangerous. Always wash knives separately and keep them visible so that someone doesn't accidentally reach into the sink and cut themselves. After I'm done doing all the dishes, I'm gonna wash my sink. Rinse it out really well, wipe it down. I'm gonna clean out the trap in the bottom of the sink where all the food has collected. And then when I'm done with this recipe today, I'm going to put that rag in the wash. Now when your pie comes out of the oven, the only thing left to do is sprinkle that topping evenly over the top and then pop it back in the oven for 15 minutes to brown. And you want to watch it closely because it is possible to burn. Do any final cleanup while the pie is finishing baking. And when it comes out of the oven, look how gorgeous that is. Now if you have a food thermometer, it's a good idea to measure the inside temperature Make sure it's at 160 degrees, which is when eggs are safe to eat. Let the pie rest for about five minutes. Serve with a green salad and you've got a complete meal. Enjoy.